The conflict between Ukraine and Russia is steeped in history. Today's crash could turn regional unrest into a full-blown international conflict. Ted Gerber is with us tonight. He is a professor of sociology at UW-Madison who is an expert on Russia and who has visited Ukraine many times, most recently in May, for an ongoing research project. Thanks Welcome. for being here Thanks. tonight, Ted. Thank you. Nice to see you. You know, this conflict between uh, rebels in eastern Ukraine who want to separate and join the Russian Federation is a lot for people to absorb. And after today, this must have gotten a lot more complicated. Can you sort of give us a snapshot of what the conflict is in that part of the world? Sure, well, the conflict in Ukraine goes back to the end of the Soviet period. Um, Ukraine was a the, the second largest and second most important uh, of the former Soviet republics after Russia, of course. And Ukraine's population was divided between ethnic Ukrainians and uh, ethnic Russians. There's been a lot of um, intermixing between the populations. It's hard to really distinguish. But uh, to boil it down, uh, in recent, in the last year or so, the conflict has come to a head because uh, the ethnic, th there's a strong force within the ethnic Ukrainian part of the country which would like to see um, ethnic Ukrainians be uh, the main players um, in their, the country of Ukraine. And the ethnic Russian population is unhappy about this. The previous president, uh, a man named Yanukovych, uh, pursued a sort of a pro-Russian policy. Um, and he was about to sign an agreement which would put Ukraine uh, on a path to join the EU when under Russian pressure he backed out from that agreement. So, so, so what do you think the events today, what kind of effect do you think they may have? Well, I think probably it, it, it's not clear really uh, who really benefits from this. It's a very mysterious kind of uh, action. Clearly it was shot down from a, by a surface-to-air missile, but it's not clear well, what side would gain from this type of action. It will certainly draw attention uh, to, to the conflict, uh, which has been smoldering and going on. I mean, there have been concerns about uh, actual Russian invasion of Ukraine. Russia has moved uh, back, has stepped back, but now it's been ramping up again its influence. Um, to, to make a long story short, there's essentially a state of civil war in that region of the country. And the Ukrainian army has, in the last several weeks, attempted to crush uh, the separatist movement. Uh, they've had some early success, but that effort has bogged down. There have been a lot of civilian casualties. Uh, I guess the concern is that uh, this somehow will, th this event will somehow precipitate more decisive action on the part of Russia and lead to an all-out uh, ground war, uh, which could then, of course, draw in the United States and uh, or, or and or its European allies. It's too early to tell at this point, but a tragic day nonetheless. It has, absolutely. Ted, thank you for being with us. Ted, today. we'll have to have you back as this story develops. Thanks so much for coming out tonight. Thank you. Nice to see you.